Part 3. The Growth Mindset and the Flow Cycle Why do we fall, Bruce? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. Batman Begins Chapter 8. Mindset Almost everything I've covered so far in the book falls under the category of what happens when we begin to find flow with regularity. But the state is unpredictable and not guaranteed. The kind of mindset we have to deal with this insecurity and unease is crucial in our ability to tap into flow. When confronted with the struggle phase of the state and not having the right mindsets, we tend to reach for a pill or another retreat rather than get down to hard work. The idea being, if it was all so easy, clear, and effortless in flow, then why not wait for the next wave to hit? We don't have to look far for examples. Think of any hippie holdover community or almost every surf or ski town in the world. Not being in flow becomes an excuse to stay listless and undermotivated and literally waiting for the next wave to hit. How every decision, every action, leads seamlessly to the next lays a different kind of trap. When we think of flow, we only think of the magical ease accompanied by the state. But the feel-good flow experience is just one step in a four-part flow cycle. It's impossible to experience flow without moving through this entire cycle. And again, this needs a mindset that can handle this transitory nature of the state. In a slightly different tone, society likes to pay for performance. When we watch a live concert or a traditional sports event, says the former head of innovation at Yahoo, Salim Ismail, we're essentially paying to watch people in a flow state, whether it's Roger Federer, Jay-Z, or a jazz crooner. They've all put in endless hours of work so that when performance time comes, they are fully present and in flow. An actor with a screen presence is there too. A great poet can deliver flow to the reader, just through the power of words. We pay to watch, read, or be in the presence of a flow experience. We need to recognize that in the process of finding that light switch to our lives, we are often confronted with despair and struggle. And as Rollo May says, a man or woman becomes fully human only by his or her choices and his or her commitment to them. People attain worth and dignity by the multitude of decisions they make from day to day. These decisions require courage. But we need more. We need to take our best ideas, our strongest intuitions, and test them. We need to measure whether we've been successful, and we have to be willing to fail, to be wrong, to start over again with lessons learned. This attitude is what Carol Dweck, the world's leading authority on the science of motivation, calls the growth mindset. She tells us, When we read and learn about the brain and how it changes in response to challenges, we are much more likely to persevere when we fail because we don't believe that failure is a permanent condition. And that's precisely the work that stands before us. The Growth Mindset In the middle 2000s, psychologist Carol Dweck got to know race car driver coach Ross Bentley, who was considered one of the best racing instructors. Bentley built his career around mental preparedness. He believed that winning was all about flow, but the nature of the sport made this especially difficult. With races lasting for hours, errors are inevitable. The key is being able to make a mistake and not let it ruin concentration. Faster drivers are those who can stay in the zone no matter what, explained Bentley. Carol Dweck, a researcher at Stanford University who had spent 30 years studying motivation, and Ross Bentley, who pulls from his 30 years of experience in training top drivers, suspected mindset played a huge role in this ability. After more than 30 years of research, Carol Dweck found that most of us have one of two basic mindsets. Those who have fixed mindsets believe abilities like intelligence and athletic talent are innate and unchangeable, i.e. fixed at birth. Those with growth mindsets believe abilities are gained through dedication and hard work that natural-born talent is merely starting points for a much longer learning process. When Tom Shar was capable of doing the impossible, and he got curious to find out what else was possible, that's having a growth mindset. And it's the same mindset that Dweck suspected was responsible for the flow states of winning race car drivers. In 2007, 
to see if their suspicions were correct, Dweck and Bentley recruited 40 top drivers, then tested them on mindset before, during, and after every race of the season. The results were significant. They found that drivers with growth mindsets could enter flow more quickly and stay there no matter what went wrong during the race. Across the board, they were the winning drivers. Why? The short answer is that a growth mindset is one of the secrets to maximizing the total amount of flow in your life. The long answer brings us to the challenge skill ratio, the first of the flow conditions, and arguably the most important one.